hello YouTube. So, I'm going to start doing a, a few little vlogs that are a bit more like what we do on Instagram, um, Facebook, and, and things where day to day chats about what's happening today, things that we come up against, and all that sort of stuff. So, it won't necessarily be the longer form stuff, we're still going to do all of that um, that you may expect. But this is a bit more like bringing the stuff that we do on Instagram over to YouTube, um, but maybe in a little bit more of a longer form, just because we've got the time to speak. So today, day one of this vlog, if you like, <laughs> is I am heading up to Darlington. We're starting a project up there. I work with um, one of my favorite people, Mr. Patterson. So Dino, Oval Dino, um, who's been with us for a little while now. So he's, we're gonna, on this job we're doing a Tesla Powerwall 3, so it's our first one. Tesla Wall Connector EV Charger. Again, it's our first one of those actually. We've never, never actually done one of those. So we're doing that as well. Um, we are doing 14 of the Perlite 4351 panels on the roof, obviously. Um, smoke alarms in the property. Yeah, so it should be quite a good one. But I've been, to Barnby, which is about half an hour from my house this morning, to pick up the new, um, sorry, the, the remaining Tesla Connect cable or the Tesla Communications cable, uh, which is the special type of cable that we need to go from the gateway to the Tesla. You can't just use a Cat 6 or something, uh, which I have fallen foul of before. So, um, when we're doing the Powerwall 2s, we uh, yeah, we've got some of this cable, so we've got that, um, so that's all good. And then I am now heading to Terrington to have a look at a solar edge inverter that is not happy for some reason. It's only a little baby one, 2.2 kilowatts, single phase, um, but it's got a problem. So I'm gonna have a look at that on my way up to Darlington. So I've got a van full of Tesla Powerwall, cable tools, panels, <laughs> I've got loads of stuff. So uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, Cause I'd like to get up to see Dean and make a good start. I'm one of these that I love getting a good start first thing on a, in a week. Like I feel like the, the Monday sets the tone for how that job's gonna go for the rest of the week. So I like to get up there, crack on um, and set the tone, find out any problems that are gonna happen. You can't obviously find them all out, but look at any potential snags, get them sorted out. Gives you the full week to get some more equipment there if you need something. Um, yeah, and just set the tone for the week. So, yeah, especially when you've got a few people on site, you don't want them standing around doing nothing um, because they've got no equipment. So trying to keep all that, the cogs turning, as I kind of call it, on the site is really key. Um, and so that's why, like I said, I'm going up, I'm going up, uh, I'm up there today and tomorrow, so Monday, Tuesday, and then I've got loads to do. So I've got a survey after today's job. Uh, it's only four minutes from the site, which is really handy. And then I have got potentially a screen on a zappy to change. Um, it's gone all dodgy. So I'm going to change that. Um, and yeah, meetings and stuff, but all trying to do it whilst probably getting some panels on the roof and uh, or at least some hooks and rails. I did get confirmation over the weekend that the scaffolding hadn't gone up because the scaffolder's child was, was ill, which is um, not nice to hear. Um, but it also isn't nice to hear because the scaffold inside. So yeah, we'll see if it's gone up though. I assume it's probably gonna go up today, um, but let's find out. So yeah, I'll check back in when I am potentially on this uh, solar edge job.